Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about Azure Data Factory. So agenda of today class is why do we need Azure Data Factory? What is Azure Data Factory? Architecture of Azure Data Factory? How Azure Data Factory works? Top level concepts and components of Azure Data Factory. So let's start with the why Azure Data Factory. Why do we need Azure Data Factory? Azure Data Factory comes under the modern data warehouse. Before moving into this, let's talk about the data warehouse. In data warehouse, we use ETL. ETL basically extract the data from different heterogeneous sources and then transform the data remove the unnecessary data bring the required data into one common place this can be done into the traditional data warehouse as well let's talk about the traditional and modern data warehouse so basically in traditional data warehouse we use ssis as an etl tool there are some other ETL tools like Cognos, Informatica. And if you talk about modern DWH, so we have AWS, Azure, and Google Cloud. So if you talk about Azure Data Factory, so Azure Data Factory is one of the service of Azure. There are multiple services. So ETL part can be done uh, using modern as well as traditional data warehouse. Now the question is why do we need modern data warehouse? So actually when you need to deal with the custom website, when you need to deal with the unstructured data, at that time traditional data warehousing process is very complex and time consuming. To automate this process, Azure Data Factory comes into the picture. Or uh, you can say um, using Azure Data Factory, we can this process can be more manageable and organizable. So basically, in the world of big data, uh, so data there are uh, huge amount of data. Data is uh, unorganized. Uh, stored in relational and non-relational and other storage system however on its own uh, row data doesn't have the proper context or meaning to provide meaningful insight to analyst uh, uh, data scientist or business decision making basically azure data factory is a managed cloud service that's built for these complex hybrid extract transform load extract load transform and data integration process now, what is Azure Data Factory? So it is the cloud-based ETL and data integration service that allows you to create data-driven workflows for orchestrating data movement and automating data movement and transforming the data at scale. As I mentioned, uh, you can automate the process using uh, Azure Data Factory. Uh, it, it is more manageable and organizable. ADF is designed to handle big data volumes. It has built in parallelism and time slicing features. And it can help you move many gigabytes of data into the cloud in a matter of few hours. This is the architecture of ADF. Uh, you have different sources, unstructured data, structured data, and then uh, you can load the data into Azure Data Factory, Azure Data Lake. Using Azure Data Factory, you can load the data into Azure Data Lake Store, Azure Synapse Analytics. And on the top of it, uh, you can connect with the Azure Analysis Services. And then on the top of it, you can create Power BI report. So this is the architecture of ADF. <laughs> now, how Azure Data Factory works. So you can connect 
you need to connect the data from different data sources and then collect the data and once this is done you need to transform the data as i mentioned uh, transform the data remove the unnecessary data and required the and bring the required data into one common pair and then it supports uh, to as your devops uh, so you can like publish the uh, latest code and then you can monitor your jobs now the top level concepts and components of azure data factory pipelines activities data sets link services data flows integration runtime so these are the top level concepts or we can say components of important components of azure data factory now moving to pipeline so pipeline is nothing basically it is a logical group of activities that performs a unit of work so there are multiple group of activities which you can create in the pipeline that performs a unit of work a data factory might have one or more pipelines then you have activities so activities basically represent a processing step in a pipeline so there are different processing step uh, so activities individual activity represent a processing step for example you might use a copy activity to copy data from one data store to another data store then you have data sets so data sets basically it represents data structure within the data store which is nothing but just simply point to or reference the data you want to use under your activities as input or output then link services link services is nothing uh, link services are much like connection existing which define the connection information that's needed for data factory to connect to external sources think of its way a link service define the connection to the data source and a data set represent the structure of data basically it a link service define the connection to your data source and data represent the structure of the data then you have data flow azure data factory allows you to develop graphical data transformation logic that can be executed as activities within the adf pipeline then you have integration runtime integration runtime is the compute infrastructure that azure data factory uses to provide data integration capabilities across different network environment thank you guys